Hello everyone, this is Double 20 and welcome to episode 26 of FTP Revelations. Today I'm in the end. Just getting a few resources here and there. Collecting a few crystals. Little V crystal thing going on. Getting some ender pearls. Uh, killed a few endermen just because, you know, they're endermen. And that's what they deserve. Grab some end stone. Uh, decided to just harvest a few resources while I'm there. Uh, nothing particularly exciting. Uh, but just wanted to let you guys know that's what I was doing between episodes here. Look at all this good stuff I collected. Hooray. Hooray indeed. Oh man, look at all that experience. I should probably... How much experience is on my book at the moment? Don't stand there when you're holding shift, Direwolf. You know better. Can I get sharpness on my sword? Probably, right? Because he's currently got looting. And I've got a lot of solidified experience. That would be kind of cool, right? That would be kind of cool, I think, right? A little bit of sharpness. So how much for sharpness? Whatever, five. Uh, th uh, 60, 36 levels? And a bunch of quartz? I can do that. I always forget if I leave lapis in that thing or not. And then we're going to want a book and quill. And we can throw sharpness on our sword. That would probably be a good time, right? I feel like that would be a, a nice move for me to do. Sharpness, five. Nice. Now, uh, tomes is the is the quark ones that give you, like, higher levels, right? Yeah, so we haven't found any of those. I was just curious. Just curious if we happen to find any. All right, so to put this on my sword now... Six levels. There you go. A little bit of sharpness going on. Booyah. Loving it. Very cool. Very cool. All right, so that should be a much uh, better weapon. Much, much better. All right. Uh, so today, what are we working on today? That's a good question. What do we want to do? So we got that fancy new healing glove. <laughs> Nifty little magic spell that we created last episode to heal us. Uh, so if we wanted to, we could perchance break our way into blood magic. That might be a cool thing to start. Um, wouldn't mind doing blood magic because I did it a little bit in uh, in DDSS, right? But it was so difficult and drainy and awful just because of like the extremely expensive basic components. Um, that I kind of wouldn't mind. Like, it's been a while since I've done proper blood magic, right? And, like, really gotten to play with it and just do whatever. And there's some pretty powerful stuff you can get from it. Is that blood magic uh, add-on in here? Let's see. Isn't there, like, an add-on for blood magic that adds things? I don't see it. I don't see it. Um, but, you know, I might, maybe I'll toss it in. It was in Dungeons & Dragons The Space Shuttles, wasn't it? So I'm just kind of planning out how I want my overall base structure to work out, right? Um, if I'm going to do... I'm, I'm probably going to do all the magic mods for sure, right? Uh, and we're going to do obviously more tech stuff too as time goes by. But, you know, generally I do like heavy duty tech and less magic. Um, so in this series I'm trying to change things up. I know some things I've done in the series I've done before. But, you know, I mean, it's the nature of the beast. I can't do everything different than before. Um, so I'm trying to do, like, more magic-based stuff, right? So, like, jumping into Thalmcraft, because we really haven't done that a lot, and then maybe even to Blood Magic, because, I mean, the last time I really got into Blood Magic was Enigmatica 2, which was a while back, like, at least a year ago, right? Um, and then, you know, since then, I don't think there's been a lot of Blood Magic going on. A little bit in Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles, but not that much, right? So I'm thinking Blood Magic, we'll probably do some Batania, uh, we'll probably definitely do Astral because you guys know I like that mod. Um, and that's where I'm at. So I'm right now thinking about how I want to lay out the area, right? I'm thinking what I could have is like this be like the magical realm over here, especially because it's like a magical forest type thing. And we could have like our Thalmcraft area here, maybe blood magic to the right side of it. And then maybe either on the left side or behind it, we could have, you can see I've started clearing out some trees. Uh, we could have like a Batania and an Astral area around here. And then we can kind of, you know, th those will be all like the magical spots, right? That we have stuff. And we can have different structures for that. And I'll paste in uh, some builds that, that you guys might submit for them. I've got a couple Blood magic -y ones, which is why I'm thinking about doing that next. Uh, one or two that looked pretty cool to me. Uh, so if I'm going to do that, uh, I should really think about kind of terraforming this area a little bit. So how am I on dirt? I'm okay on dirt. I wouldn't call myself great. Um, 
I'm gonna call myself great, but I'm pretty good. Pretty good. I could probably, I could probably like very quickly harvest up some more and then build and gadget my way into a lot more dirt and maybe even destruction gadget up some stuff. Um, but that's, you know, the other thing I would like to do if I can is clear out all this stuff nice and easily. Um, I'm sure there's some kind of sickle or scythe. I was looking at making a horn of the wild, but that would require getting like right into blood magic. So I'm thinking I might hold off on that for a little bit and just, you know, grab, uh, grab a nice old sickle. Probably a diamond one, why not, right? Well, that's Project Red Sickle. I meant to make a thermal one. Well, maybe we can compare the two and see what we like about them. Um, I wonder if platinum's any good. How much platinum do I have? Let me put it that way. Uh, not a lot. Not a lot. So let's go, like, nickel or... I mean, I don't think it really matters. Let's just do straight up iron, right? And then we'll compare these two and see, you know. So here's Project Red Sickle. Not that big of a range, and how are you, buddy? Kind of about the same. Man, that is a small range. I really, really want the Horn of the Wild. Debating if I want to, like, do, like, a quick and dirty Batania setup just to get, like, the, the base resources for a Horn of the Wild just so we can have one. And that would just make clearing out and terraforming a lot easier. Because these sickles are slow. I mean, they're better than not, but they're slow. <laughs> so it shouldn't be too hard to get into Batania here, right? I don't think so. Uh, we can get these guys. We can get the uh, Petal Apothecary, right? We'll want one of those dudes. Uh, we're going to want to put... Uh, what do you do? Petal. Yeah, you need some of these. You know, just a quick and dirty Batania setup real quick, right? Nothing crazy. Just uh, enough to get a Horn of the Wild. And, I mean, we'll get deeper into Batania. Because it also feels like it's been a while since I really played with that one, too. I don't know. I mean, usually I get a little bit into it, but not deep, right? Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what, uh, what all my plans are. I'm not going to go crazy, right? Like, real quick and dirty. There you go. Um... And then we can probably just, you know, stick this dude here. Uh, we can get some wood. And what I think I'm going to do... Horizontal wall. And not place on top. That. Do what now? There we go. Okay, cool. Perfect. That's what I want. And then... <laughs> All the sparkles. Right? And then we can undo. Break this guy as well. And then redo. Ta-da! And we'll automate this at some point. We'll automate all the things at some point. So that's not a bad starting point, right? <laughs> now let's get some smooth stone for around here. <laughs> what I think I'll do is just boop and boop so that I can do this. Boop, boop. 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 I'm busy here, angry zombie. That should be enough. Let's sleep through this night, just because, you know, it's night. Meh. Um, then, we'll make ourselves the mana spreader. All right, we want one of them just to get started. That should be fine. You can go away, presents. All this stuff can actually go away. Do, 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 do. And then we're going to also want a pool. Um, and then we'll probably want the uh, the flowers that just produce mana straight out of uh, coal, right? Uh, Endo flame. Yeah, a couple of them. So two brown, a gray, and a red. Light gray and red. Two brown, light gray, and red. All right, whipped up a quick little batch of floral fertilizer using some dyes, and hopefully I'll get the colors I need out of this. 
think that's light gray or is that dark gray? That's light gray, so we're we'll good. All right, nice. So let's plant some of these dudes. Because they're just hard to find in the world sometimes. All right, so we're going to want some bone meal. And we're also going to want some shears. Do I have shears in my backpack? I do. Okay, so if we plant... Like this, and then bone meal, and then shears. That gets us a net gain on stuff. FYI, for those of you who uh, might be new to Batania. There we go. And Batania kind of like, there's not a lot of starting flower options. So as much as I'd like to do something a little bit different, you're kind of, it is what it is, right? Okay. So then what we want is the endo flame. And I, as many times as I made this, I always forget it's too brown. Okay. So what I'm going to do is too brown, boop, 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 right? And then what I can do is right click with an empty hand and then that. And that's a nice quick way. There you go. I don't know, that was a dozen-ish sound. Seems cool to me, right? Okay. And this isn't going to be like the, the permanent location, uh, as it were, of uh, the endo flames and everything. But this is just, like I said, a quick and dirty. I want to get a basic production of, of mana going, just so I can very quickly uh, get up and running. Right, and then we're gonna want our mana spreader here. Now are you guys, oh, that's right. We're gonna want a wand of the forest. How about a red one? Cause I feel like I happen to have some red ones. Right, you guys, Technically, I could bind them all, but replanting them will be easier. They'll bind to the nearest spreader that they find when you place them. Cool. So now they're bound, and that's good. And then we'll get you going, and then we can get some coal. That should have dropped it on the ground, I thought. There you go. Hooray, mana. Cool. And then we can get some seeds. And once we have enough mana, we should be able to drop them in there. Isn't that all it is? Pasture seeds, right? So for a uh, Horn of the Wild. Oh, it's grass, not seeds. Well, there's your problem. I was like, why isn't it showing me what it turns into? There you go. Boom. And that should be a Horn of the Wild. Sweet. A quick and dirty Batania setup, just so I could have this amazing tool. Just the, just the greatest at clearing out tall flowers and grass. See how much better that is? So good. How great is that? Right? Right though, how great is that? If you've got a terraform, this is the way to do it. Like I think I think the Horn of the Wild is definitely one of my favorite items in all of Minecraft. Just cause like I started playing Minecraft before Tallgrass was a thing. So like when Tallgrass came out, I'm like, that's cool, but it looks cluttery and messy. I don't like it. Like 
I don't like it. And I know, it's ironic for Direwolf to be like, hey, cluttery and messy bothers you? I know. I know, I understand the irony of that statement. However, you know, it is what it is, right? So, uh, having the Horn of the Wild is just a really nice way to be like, all right, we can clean this up and make it look nicer. Which works for me. Okay. So let me clear out a little bit more terrain here and just, you know, get rid of all these flowers and everything hanging around and then we'll be back. I'm probably going to start terraforming and preparing an area for the Blood Magic E altar. Oh yeah, look how good that is. Look how nice. Clean. Nice and clean. Right though? Right? Goodbye flowers. Oh, so good. So I'm not going to let you guys know where I am, even though you can see the coordinates on the top right. But I'm relatively, not super far, but relatively far away from my base, collecting a bunch of dirt so I can terraform. Haha. -ha. And then, remember there used to be like a little lake over here? Not anymore. Bing. Filling it in. Nice. Terraforming is fun with a building gadget. <laughs> it's actually got a pretty good range. Partially because bugs. Pretty good though, right? Yeah. Wow, I burned through a lot of dirt already. Whew. That was a lot of dirt. All right, we're digging. All right, back from another dirt collecting run, which is surprisingly fast. And I do appreciate that. I do appreciate how fast it is. But then we can get back to terraforming. Nice. So I'd like to bring this Y level up, right? Um, to kind of match what's over there. So I'm just kind of flattening out the terrain. Now in fairness, I could have just, you know, built out over the top instead of doing surface mode like I am, uh, which, you know, would have worked. But the problem with that obviously is that uh, then you have a big empty cave underground and that's no fun. Not too shabby. More dirt. All right. So, you know, a little bit of uh, grass growth, and we should have a pretty nice looking area here. Nicely terraformed. I like it. I think it looks good, right? Uh, at least we've got an area to start working in. All right. So I've got a Blood Magic Temple submission uh, from Rassen on Twitter, R4SS1N, uh, and I want to check it out. FYI, here is the paste bin code in case you were looking to see what it looks like you can just pause the video there and, and copy it in uh so this looks pretty neat and i'm hoping it i'm hoping i've got all the blocks i need i don't know he submitted this back in september right so let's just paste that up and then user load up the copy paste does not look cool check this bad boy out right doesn't that look awesome yeah i think that looks really cool i'm interested to try this out all right, so what's our inventory list here? So we need some chiseled stone bricks, a bunch of cobble, luckily we have that, cracked stone bricks, glass, nether brick fence, some nether rack. We're gonna need red nether brick. Okay, cool, a lot of that. A lot of red nether brick uh, and a bunch of stone. It should all be doable, right? How do you make red nether brick though? That is made with, oh, we need a lot of that, huh? How much? Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. Really? That's a lot of nether wart. That's a thousand nether wart, right? No, 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 no. That is 2,400 nether wart. That is 2,400 nether wart. That is a lot of nether wart, my friends. How's, uh, I do have another wart farm over here, luckily, but I am about 10% of the way there. That's a ripperoni. We might have to, we might have to, we might, I'm just saying we might have to want to potentially consider doing uh, construction paste for that. That's probably going to be a construction pasty one. Yeah, just because that's so expensive, um, right, in terms of the amount of nether wart needed. But otherwise, we should be cool, right? Like, we can get, uh, we should have some stone cooking, right? 
Are we good on stone here, or do I need to snag some out of my... Yeah, no, I need to snag some out of here. Smooth stone. And then we can get stone bricks. And that should pretty quickly satisfy your needs, buddy. Right. And then we need some stone brick stairs. So let's get a few more stone out of here. And then you can make stairs for me. How much, how much stairs do I need? 92 more. So it's like a stack and a half, right? That's cool. And then what's that cracked one called? Cracked stone bricks. Oh, that's a Minecraft one and chiseled stone bricks. Okay, 22 chiseled and 84 cracked. So I think I can chisel smooth stone for that, right? Cracked. Chiseled stone bricks from Minecraft. Cracked stone bricks from Minecraft. Cool. And that satisfies that need. We've got netherrack in our thing. Um, 16 glass. Do I not have glass in here? That's surprising to me. And then uh, the only other thing we need are some of those fences and a bunch of that. So we're gonna need 1,234, okay? So if we got this out of here, we've got 20. So we're well on our way. <laughs> cool, and that's 241. So I need about a thousand more. So let's get uh, some more dense uh, gadgetry type stuff, more dense construction block from construction paste. That's you, that is a Comically small amount of that stuff. Boom, boom. Two stacks, hopefully enough, maybe? I should probably math this out. I suspect I'm gonna need at least that many more because it's four per, right, that we get? Okay, so that should be pretty good. I mean, that gets me low on clay, but I think I'm all right. We can always go find more clay in the world. All right, and then you come over here and we're gonna quickly do that trick that I showed you guys the other day, which is you, oh, nope, nope, nope. Um, not you. You, boop, with a build to me. Cool. Looking good, right? Cool, and then we'll do it again. And that's probably like the quickest and most efficient way to do construction paste. Honestly, when I when I made this, it was like totally a side effect that you could use the building gadget to effectively make construction paste really easily. And uh, I was totally cool with that. <laughs> it wasn't on purpose, honestly. It really wasn't. Oh wait, did you just use construction paste to make construction paste? I think you did. Okay, cool, so that means we're done. Hooray! So we've got all our dense construction paste here. Let's go uh, put this in here. Boop, boop, boop. And we'll be back in a minute once it all processes because you're in up-down mode, right? All right, almost done. So we're at a thousand in the paste container right now. And we've got a little bit more coming. That looks good. Boink. 1257, so if we want to copy, we should be good. Yeah, we need 1234, so that's almost exactly right. Nice. All right. I am all about pasting this into the world and seeing what it looks like, because it looks cool. Now, uh, I think he also had some fire going on in here, so, uh, and the screenshot that he submitted. Yeah. All right, cool. Now, I wouldn't mind it being on the same kind of plane, so let's rotate this dude. Boop, boop. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is almost, you know, completely symmetrical, so that shouldn't be a big deal. So let's kind of set him up so that he's somewhat centered. Ah. Boop, 
Doop. Anchored. All right, so if that's there, how does this look relationally centered wise to that? Not ideal. Not ideal. Also, it's clipping into the mountain a little bit, but only a smidge. Only a smidge into the mountain. Uh, let's do... Just a little bit of uh, more terraforming, a little bit more cleaning up. Does that look like you're no longer clipping? You are still clipping a little bit. Still just a smidgen, like one or two more blocks deep. So what I'll probably want to do, let's destruction gadget with this one. That should be cool, and that should be cool, right? That looks good to me. And then what I'm going to do is a little build build to me action. That looks good, right? Sure. Why not? No more clipping? Yeah, right up against the wall, but no more clipping. Okay, cool. Neat. That is that is Nifterino. I like it. And that is all kinds of ready to be cool. Um, now, are the red blicks, bricks here supposed to be like the where things go? Yeah, I like that. That looks pretty neat. I like that a lot, actually. Should we paste this in, or do we want to move it a little bit so that it's more centered? I would love it to be more centered with this, but it means terraforming this lake here, which I guess I'm not terribly opposed to, right? Let's come back in a sec once I'm ready to do that. Okay, we're back. And a little bit of terraforming is getting to be completed-ish. Yeah, that looks pretty good, right? I think we're getting really low on dirt, though. Yeah, I think I just used the last of my dirt. Nice. Well, good enough. Excuse me, sir. You're standing where I want to build something. All right, so you go away. You come back out, because I didn't want to use my construction paste for dirt, because that would have happened. Uh, and then where did my copy-paste gadget go? Because I feel like I just clicked it. There we go. Are you ready? I think we're ready. So what I'd like to do is just move this guy a little bit such that he's here, maybe? How does that feel? Does that feel good? I feel like that's pretty cool, right? Do I want you to go down one? Might want him to go down one. Yeah. I think we do. But that does that feel nice and centered to that? It does. I could move it right a little bit. So like maybe here? Does that feel centered to that? That feels pretty centered. Maybe left one. Look, I'm trying, guys. Look, I'm not even I'm not even kidding. I am legit trying here. And I think I'm doing okay. That looks pretty good. I'm thinking right again one. And then maybe out one. So that that's where you're at. How do we feel about this? So this guy is right at 147. One forty seven is here, so we want to actually move it right one more from here. There you go. Right? Now this is at one forty six. And then we fly over here and we're at one forty six, right? Yeah. Okay, nice and nice and nice and even looking. Cool. The only thing left to do is a little bit more destructioning. So I just made my my measurement uh, left zero, right sixteen, up sixteen. And that should clear it exactly like I would want. Nice. That's pretty cool. How's that feel? Looking good? That's actually pretty perfect. I'll take that. All right, let's paste this structure in then. 
Now lots and lots of construction paste, but that's okay. Dude, that looks awesome. Look at that cool structure, huh? Look how cool that looks. Wait, didn't I say I want that down one? I might want that down one. I think I do. Let's undo that. Now, where were we? I think we were anchored here, if I'm not mistaken. It should be 146 at the center, right? Yep, 146 at the center. And that's pretty cool. And then my wall over here is good as well. Yeah, so let's change this to be Y level down one. And what I'm gonna do is get it to be two, two, two and two. Is that cool? Yeah, I think that works. So like right here, that's good. That's good. That's good. Ta-da! That is awesome. Construction block from Building Gadgets. Ha! <laughs> cool. Neat, right? I think it looks good. I think it looks super good. Now in his, um, I think, can I do that? Okay, that's cool. Um, in his picture, he had um, fire up here. So like that. That's neat. That's neat. See, better things than I would ever make by myself. Super cool. Now what's this? Oh, there's a sheep here. Just chilling. Just chilling. Now the only other thing to worry about, I would say, would be brightness. But I should be able to make a feral flare lantern and stick it right where it belongs, which is on the top of this structure. And it should hopefully light up enough of the base, I'm thinking. Hopefully... I mean, that looks pretty good, right? I think so. We'll just have to wait and see. But I would I would expect that that would start lighting up the area around here, right? And then we should be safe. Okay, cool. So it's definitely not my normal style to go ahead and, you know, start off with the structure in place and then follow up with the actual starting of the mod, but that's what we did this time. So hopefully you guys liked that. Uh, for now, it's wrapping up point though. So Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, we got a really nice uh, blood magic structure. Uh, so big, huge, awesome thank yous uh, to Rassen uh, for that submission back in September. Looks pretty awesome. And uh, for now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. You know what, maybe this is where the Feral Flare Lantern should lay. That sounds like a better spot for it too. Why don't we have it hanging from here? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, is that what he had in his picture? Actually, yeah, in his picture, that's where he put the Feral Flare Lantern. Nice, okay, cool. So that will hopefully light up, you know, the whole area, um, including the ground here, which I think it will. All right, that was my sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.